Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change hair color using Adobe Photoshop. So let's open up our web browser and we're going to download one image. I'll put a link to this same image in the YouTube description. Let's click download free and we'll open up this folder on my desktop and we just drag and drop the picture in here and then we'll go ahead and open up Photoshop. And we just drag and drop this picture into here. So to change the hair color, we need to isolate that hair color first. So we're going to isolate the hair and then use that isolation to create a layer mask. Because then le later, if we want to adjust that layer mask in any way or adjust what we selected with the hair, we're able to do that quite easily. So the first thing we'll do is go to select and color range. And we'll click on this tool here. Make sure sampled colors is selected in the drop down here and the fuzziness will select that afterwards we'll play around with that but for now let's select this eyedropper tool and this will be our first selection so when we click here we can see anything with that particular shade of hair color that we just selected will be selected in the image but we want to select more than one shade so let's click on the plus or the add to sample and we can start to click and add more shades of this purple but don't click on the black areas um, we just want to focus on the lighter and darker shades of this sort of purple color. Um, this will help us and we can see it's over selected down the side here but we're going to fix that afterwards. So this should be pretty good. Let's go ahead and click OK. So here we can see the selection and we want to copy the selection and paste it into a new layer. So let's just go to edit, copy or control C and we'll create a new layer. So click down here for a new layer and then go to edit, paste or control V. So now we've got the hair kind of separated right and we need to tidy up down the side here. it might be a little bit hard to see so <clears throat> just as an example I'll create a new layer you don't need to do this I'm just going to drag this layer below and we'll go to the bucket tool I just want to fill it a color so that you can see where it's been over selected let's just make this uh, doesn't really matter what color it is let's make it uh, let's make it black will be good and we'll just hit the bucket tool here. Now you can see the over selection down the side. Yeah. So if we create that new layer and just fill it with a black color, you can see down the side here we need to erase that. Uh, so let's go ahead and select the eraser tool. And we'll click on the top layer here and just get rid of this. So we're just going to remove this here. We don't really want this. Just be a little bit careful. Do you like the what I normally do is just do the bulk of it here and then just remember to let go of the mouse button every so often so let's just uh, zoom in here and we'll just get tidy this up a little bit down the side here this should be pretty good this should be fine and what we'll do now is um, let's we don't really need this layer anymore so we can delete it that was just to see the over selection there and we want to convert this into a this hair into a white color only so to do that let's go to image adjustment and we'll go to um, let's use we can there's a few different ways but let's use curves so we'll select curves and just drag this top handle all the way over to the top here so just drag it straight all the way across to the very far end and that will make the hair all white and click OK so we're going to use this part of our layer mask. So let's unlock this background and let's duplicate it. So let's make a copy. Let's right click, duplicate layer and click OK. So now we've got two copies and this layer, this middle one, we're going to go to, uh, let's go to layer, let's go to mask and reveal all. So now you can see there's a white section here. This is the layer mask. We want to click on that and turn it into black. So let's select it, go to image adjustment and invert now you can see it's black and we want to click on the top layer which is where we've got the white hair selection and we'll go to select all so we select all of that press ctrl c to copy and then click on the layer mask here the black layer mask and then hold down the alt key and click on it one more time left click and you'll see black in here then press ctrl v and we're going to paste in a layer mask so this allows us to isolate just the hair and we need to tidy this up just a little bit because uh, what we do is just go to select and um, deselect here. 
so that unselects everything and all we want to do is where the eyes are just these little bits of eyes and the sort of the nose I think is around here or the mouth we just want to get rid of the white here so let's go back to our paintbrush tool we've got black selected at the top so make sure black is selected here if it's not click and then just drag to the bottom left hand corner and just draw over the eyes here it's really probably the um, the eyelashes and just down here so everything else is fine and I'm going to show you how you can slightly improve this selection later but for now all we want to do is um, we can hide this top layer we don't need it anymore we'll click on this layer here click on the picture of the woman right here and then go to layer go to uh, new adjustment layer and we'll select hue and saturation and then we'll select use previous layer to create clipping mask and click OK now I think we did that wrong so let's uh, just right click and delete this actually we did it right we didn't actually hide the uh, top layer we need to hide this top layer so make sure it's hidden and then click on the picture of the woman pretty sure that was right so let's go to the new adjustment layer human saturation use previous to create click OK and now we can change the hair color so that's pretty much you can like adjust the saturation here as well and you can change the color quite easily you can pick a different color quite easily now you can improve that layer more slightly you can see at the top of the hair here there is some purple shades in there but they're very dark so what you can do is left click on the layer mask here and switch it over to white and then use the paintbrush tool you can just paint although you don't see it um, you're basically adding to the layer mask and wherever you see hair here you can just like paint over it and you can improve the layer mask that way and you'll be adding white to this if I left click if I hold down the alt, alt key and click in here you can see where we're painting over the image here and then left click and select again and then when we go back to our um, image here or go back to the adjustment layer here we can see the hair being changed color here inside the darker shades as well it's up to you if you want to do that you don't have to do that um, saturation you've got to be a bit sensible with right uh, but the hue you can change it to pretty much any sort of color so I think we'll go for like a green sort of color let's compare that to the previous image we downloaded in here and here you can see the difference between those images so sometimes it's worth having the reference image so when you're changing color you can really pick something a bit different you may just want to keep the purple but increase its color like this as well right just give it more sort of vibrancy but it's a similar sort of shade or well, this is more like a blue and purple sort of mix um, and you can do that as well so you don't have to make quite a big change it can be a subtle change so I'm gonna go for like um, like this purple sort of blue shades here I think that looks pretty cool let's go to file save as first and save it as a Photoshop file so if you want to come back and edit this we can always open up the file and adjust it quite quickly let's go to file export as and we'll select JPEG from here we'll set it to around 90% compression click export all and we need to rename this file let's call it uh, dash color and save it and we can close this and we've got one image here and we should have our color change here so now you can see the difference between them so that's how you go about color changing hair or changing hair color using Adobe Photoshop we uh, used a certain technique here there are other ways to do this this is not the only way to do this but I find this is quite an easy way and you can use the same approach to change other elements of color so like eye colors or we could have isolated the lips here for example and only changed those so this is a good technique to learn it's all about the layer mask really that's that's the key and to create um, you can see this hair is quite complex so to create the layer mask we use the color select tool right the color range tool to just isolate those particular hair colors 
quite quickly. Okay, so let's close this down. That's the end of this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.